Run! It's Godzilla! Yep, that's what I'm reviewing today. Godzilla, the movie, 2014. It was really great. I mean, I liked it. I, I had fun watching it. Um, it it opens in 1999. There is this egg in the Philippines, and then it cuts to Japan, and there's like a nuclear disaster, and shit gets real. And it's crazy. And then it cuts to now, when 15 years later, which is now. Wow, 1999, holy shit, I'm old. <laughs> and it cuts to like this army guy who, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, kick ass himself, is getting off a plane, you know, he's in the army, and he's coming home. And then um, that night when he's at home, he gets a phone call. He's like, Your dad was arrested in Japan for sneaking into the nuclear disaster zone. And he's like, Damn it, I gotta go get him. You know, obviously he goes to Japan, gets his dad out. And his dad convinces him to go to the quarantine zone to get these uh, files that he needs, which is a big part of the Godzilla plot. Like, there are a lot of earthquake stuff happening. But, you know, they go and um, they, they see a couple dogs running in the street. And um, Brian Cranston, who plays the dad, looks at his, like, nuclear measure thing. And it's just zero. There's nothing there. So he takes off his mask. He's like, we can breathe. There's no radiation here. And that right there, that right there, is why you should never trust the government. Don't trust them. They might take this video down. They probably will. Don't trust your government. Just don't. But, you know, they, they learned. They, they were, they were uh, arrested while on site. And they were taken to this facility where there's this, this giant egg, right? And like... Back in the 50s, we were doing... The, you remember the nuclear test sites in the 50s? Those were not tests. They were asserts. And so it's an Asian guy say, saying all this. So that's why I'm I'm doing it. Doing the Asian thing. And you're like, we were trying to kill something. And then the dude's like, what were we trying to kill? He's like, he's like, he's like a god, maybe a wizard. But we call him Godzilla. And then at that that exact moment there, like the whole building starts like shaking and it's like an earthquake. And then um, the egg is starting to hatch and you see like this little head come out of it. And the dude the thing like sprouts wings and flies off. And my first thought is Mothra. But apparently that's not what it was. Whatever. And then um, Godzilla is in the sea and he comes out and the, the mo I'm calling mo the Muto. They call it the Muto. It's a something something terrestrial object, but it flies, so they call it the Muto. And you know, it's flying towards San Francisco, and apparently when Godzilla's Godzilla's going after it, he's hunting it. And you see like the spikes of Godzilla's spikes on his back coming out of the water. And he there's like a dozen military battleships with him, so he's like a military escort, it's pretty cool. But you know, they go and the military has their idea that if they get a bomb they can blow these creatures up. So, yeah. And, um, you know, it ha what happens is, like, Godzilla and the Muto, there's two of them, a male and a female, they have their big fight and everything and destroy, basically, the whole city of San Francisco. I mean, it's crazy. And then, um, a as that's going on, um, the only dude left in the team is Kick-Ass. And, uh, you know, he gets on the boat, grabs the bomb, and... You know, just runs. And um, as this is going on, Godzilla, the the female Muto is dead. She died. So at this time, um, Godzilla, like he, his tail starts to, like spark blue, and then like his chest is all heaved out, and he goes Rah! and like breathes fire at the damn thing. It's freaking awesome. You gotta see it to to see how cool it is. And then uh. What he does is the fight goes on for another 15, 20 minutes. And uh, you see, like, the last bit, what he does is Godzilla, like, holds the jaws of the Muto open, like, breathes more fire down its freaking neck, and, kill and like, rips the thing's head off and just kind of throws it aside. And it, uh, Kick Ass is rescued by some military guys. Um, the bomb is disarmed. Godzilla falls. It looks like a building falls on top of him. And in the aftermath, it's Dawn. It's the morning, and 
everyone's looking at Godzilla. And his eyes, like, open. And he gets up, walks to, like, the edge to where it's, he's almost in the water. Let's out one last triumphant roar. He's like, Aah! And falls into the sea and just goes away. And there are talks right now of sequels. I don't know why. I, I'd watch it. I would, but I don't. I don't think they need to do one. But yeah, uh, Godzilla. You know, it's if you like it, that's your thing. If you didn't, whatever, it's cool. Everyone has their own opinion on movies. Um, what should I review next? Game, movie, show? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to me. Do it.